Hello, my name's Stuart. Over the last couple of years I've been interested in monitoring the energy usage in my house and for this I've been using the uh, tools and uh, products provided by Open Energy Monitor. The products all work really well and uh, I've submitted some ch code changes to them and some hardware designs and that sort of stuff. But about a year ago I found um, a forum on Facebook called DIY Powerwalls. This forum's uh, all around using second-hand batteries to power houses, cars, garages, people's sheds, that sort of stuff. Um, and basically people are using old laptop batteries to um, build into larger packs and then provide them with electric, normally charged up from uh, solar panels. Now, one of the problems with, with doing this is that uh, you need to be very careful how you actually charge your batteries because if you charge them too much or outside the manufacturer's tolerances, you can cause damage to the battery or uh, even start a fire. So um, it's, it's very critical that this is done right. There's several uh, BMS products on the market and uh, a lot of homebrew users have gone down the route of uh, either getting something from uh, China, AliExpress, that sort of stuff. Um, those are generally for uh, very small battery packs. Or the other option is um, a retailer named Batrium, uh, or Batrium which has uh, produced a really good product and it's proved really su successful. But obviously both of those come at a cost. So in the spirit of open source and open source hardware, I thought, let's make our own. So just like all good uh, open source hardware, um, I originally started uh, this design on uh, breadboard. And here it is. So uh, excuse the uh, camera, it's uh, pretty poor quality. Um, and uh, this is the, the, the actual prototype I, uh, I built with a few LEDs on, on here as well for status. Uh, transistor uh, at tiny CPU and um, an I2 I2C or I2C uh, controller for talking back to the main BMS controller and amazingly this uh, circuit actually worked really well um, I, in the end I've built a couple of them on breadboard and um, used um, a controller chip to uh, drive them and test them out and it seemed to work really really well so one of the other things I've, I've never actually done is uh, built my own um, printed circuit boards so I thought let's give that a go and that's where the uh, second version came along, which is this one. Now this one was never really released out uh, into the public, um, but it, it's largely built on the same uh, same design. Um, it's a bit of a Frankenstein board. There's uh, service main bits on here and all sorts of stuff, but you know it's it's a work of horror really. But um, the original design with this one was that uh, we would use um, the load resistor here for discharging and reducing the the current in the bat in the batteries and the load on the, on the batteries. Um, and it would actually plug in and out this circuit here so this this top section would be the controller and then the the bottom half um, you could remove to change the resistor value um, or just to disconnect it for programming purposes and that sort of stuff in the end I, I've decided that was just far too complicated and it made the board quite big as well um, but we've still got the same the same controller chip and the I2C chips um, and the uh, programming header pins as well so we moved on to the next version which is this one here. So uh, this is actually version 2 which was uh, in December 2017 um, and uh, as you can see the board's a lot smaller um, the same sort of uh, key components in there um, the main resistor for the uh, putting the load on the batteries is there um, and the uh, headers at the top here allow you to uh, loop the uh, cells in and out and the power in the input in the bottom and the uh, programming header is there as well exactly the same circuit di diagram um, and the same design um, what was actually pointed out to me on uh, once it was released was that uh, some of these um, uh, traces on the back were actually a bit thin for uh, carrying potentially up to two amps of current um, so there's actually another re version released of this in um, March 2018 um, which has proved really popular and uh, has been picked up uh, several times since and uh, there's quite a few people that have actually uh, taken this design um, and uh, rolled it into their own systems. Uh, Colin Hickey is uh, one of them. Um, and uh, I believe uh, Adam Welsh has done uh, quite a few YouTube videos on these as well. I'll uh, stick some links down to those uh, those folks as well. So this circuit and board style proved that it uh, was a working design. And um, I pushed it, all the s details up onto, onto GitHub and as I, as I mentioned it's been picked up by qu quite a few people. However, a few weeks back, um, I was contacted by a gentleman called Nick, who had taken the, the, the time to actually uh, look at the circuit and uh, try and improve the PCB design, um, and he's done a really good job. We're using uh, KiCad 5 here to, uh, to view this, and as you can see, uh, Nick's um, shrunk the uh, circuit down to um, a much smaller size, 
and if we zoom in a little bit more you can see what's going on and uh, the um, circuit itself is exactly the same as the uh, older uh, PCB style uh, it's just everything's been crammed into uh, a tighter package um, the um, other thing to note is the uh, header sockets here um, are uh, actually provided with uh, normal spaced headers as well as the, uh, the smaller um, JST headers that we're currently using and the other big big, big difference is the uh, positive and negative on the input terminals have actually been flipped around to uh, fix uh, the most common type of cable so if uh, you are upgrading to this version or changing to this version and you don't need to there's nothing wrong with the old one um, just be careful on these battery input terminals look the uh, positives on the right hand side of this now as well if we flip over to the uh, 3D viewer you can see that um, the layout is uh, nice and neat um, still got the same headers so you'd still loop the uh, in and outs um, for the I2C data and the um, power uh, programming header at the top of the top of the board and on the back um, there's a lot more screen writing um, to uh, indicate where the uh, various connections are uh, and a bit more uh, help with uh, voltage ranges and that sort of stuff but as I say the, the actual circuit itself is exactly the same uh, this is just a slightly smaller board which should be slightly cheaper to produce um, but it does use smaller um, components um, so uh, the service, service mount soldering may be more of an issue for you so over the next few days I'll uh, prove out this design and uh, we'll push it up to uh, GitHub and uh, if you want to use it you can um, but if you've already ordered PCBs you know don't rush to uh, upgrade to uh, this style it's uh, it's it's there is no dif no difference to it at the moment so that's all for this video and I'll put the links below to the various forums and uh, circuit designs and GitHub links and that sort of stuff so thanks for watching